Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Medieval True Nerd, and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War, where you join us in interesting times, interesting times. The war against Venice is heating up. We have got multiple citadels to break, and citadels are always difficult to break, except, I can't help but notice, we might actually have some unwitting help from the most unlikely of allies, the Venetians themselves, because over here, we've got this place under siege, but can't help but notice, there's a full strength unit of peasants coming in that might just pull that battle out onto the open field if they're stupid enough to attack me, which would be marvellous. If I can get the Pope on side, possibly, I can get these guys excommunicated, which would be marvellous. And the same deal over here, there's a damaged force over here, together with reinforcements potentially coming in. So I'm going to keep Sophia under siege as well, because it's possible they're willing to attack attack me. And if they're willing to attack me and we can pull these guys back out into the open field again, then that would make my life much more easy indeed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep those places under siege for the time being. Just see what the Venetians do next, because they're running out of steam rapidly here. And speaking of which, I should probably just send some troops down to Kaffir just to take that. But actually... We've got a whole bunch of forces over here in Sarkel. Let's just basically send some of that over there. Yeah, that should be plenty enough to handle this. Um, yeah, that should be plenty enough to manage Sarkel as well. Just move these guys down around over here. That's enough to march in here, especially with mounted sergeants and Italian militia. Then I just need from Sarkel... A boat or two. Marvellous. Let's just get some boats in production. It might be nice just to have a basic little fleet up here to deal with pirates. Absolutely flipping magnificent. Oh, look at all that naval trade. All that naval trade. That is benefiting me nicely. Oh, Constantinople can make a huge, huge amount of money. Look at all those trade resources and look at all that sea trade. That's just flipping lovely. But our real attention, of course, is over here. The Great Bumbling continues and, in fact, has just got itself a little bit more on the confusing side. I don't really know what the Great Bumbling's doing right now. I've got one okay-ish armour hanging out here on the Riverford, but the Riverford is going to be sufficiently narrow that, uh, yeah, it kind of doesn't really work as well as a proper big, long bridge. So I could actually move... The Ooh. I could move this force up to this bridge. That's arguably a better bridge right there, but I need something. Can I have these guys? Ooh. That might not be the worst idea, you know. That might not be the worst idea. Okay, what else have I got in Antioch, by the way? I can probably top up this army. Yeah, if I move this army up north, and then this reinforcement force over here, and also bring in reinforcements from Antioch, and possibly from Adana, in fact, because I can actually ship over some reinforcements from Adana if I need them. That's probably the better bet. Right, this captain right here, what can you do? Because we need to merge some of you lads together. Because then we can have a stronger army. Oh yeah, especially some of the heavy infantry. Some of them have taken a fair few knocks. So let's fix that up nice and quick. Now the problem is Aleppo is now not quite under siege, but close by to it. And we're fixing up troops there as fast as we can, so I can't do anything else. And this force on the bridge, there were supposed to be reinforcements for Aleppo, can't actually make it in there anymore. Not that it matters, because that place is already full up. So you, in that case, rather than being caught out in the open field, fall back to Odessa. This bridge is open. If they want to just come by this way, maybe they're heading towards the Turks, that's fine. Odessa, I'm worried about, because that's just a castle. Screw it, just get more Norse archers into production, more heavy infantry, and more, screw it, peasant archers too. If need be, we will defend Odessa, just as we were planning to defend Adana. Right, damaged troops. You and... Actually, is there any more? No, there's only one. You only lost two guys, it's fine. You and you and you come out over here and stand in front of Antioch for the time being. You come up here and guard this bridge. Okay, we need some more infantry and Norse archers and... Hang on, what was the other one that was? Yeah, two heavy infantry, Norse archers. Okay, can't give you much in the way of heavy infantry, but actually I can give you this and these two. Actually, I could give you some more actual artillery. How much artillery do you have? Ooh, you've got plenty of artillery. I'll probably just give you some traditional archers and some proper heavy infantry, including the good stuff. Yeah, there we go. Right, that's a decent force, albeit it's not quite ready to... Actually, Godfrey the Handsome could try and defend that. An order. Hmm. Orders, my king. Okay, yeah, that's probably worth doing. Pull back the damaged unit of... Oh, yes. I can't pull I back anything. Ah, I'll have to break yes. something apart if I want to actually uh, put Godfrey the Handsome into that army. There's already a flipping famous battle here. 
which we actually were able to win, which is marvellous. Right, what have you got, by the way? That's not too bad. You, move to the side of the famous battle. Okay, lovely. You guys can just provide reinforcements how much artillery you have. You've got some artillery, probably not enough. Send more reinforcements over here. Yeah, you two and you, how many spaces have we got? We've got four spaces in there. Right, Godfrey the Handsome, I think you're heading back in, I'm afraid. Take with you some proper heavy cavalry and some more heavy infantry. Guard this pass if you can. What have we got on the old infantry side? Ooh, we got some nice, super nice heavy cavalry. But also some nice, actually cavalry archers might be useful just for driving some stuff off script. We'll take some actual like, cavalry archers. Okay, we've got both of the crossing points. Well guarded at this point. You just go down and hide over there. That's flipping fine. Acres just got flipping, uh, yeah, some militia troops in it, and I don't really know why. We probably don't want to retrain those guys, however. We probably want to focus on just getting... Uh, what do we need right now? Let's get some heavy stuff in. I feel like my heavy infantry is a bit on the low side. Those guys will hold the flipping line for the time being. We've also got... Ah, we've got more good stuff coming up here. Good. We've got a decent force heading up here. Join up with Acre. That'll do for the time being. And screw it. Get some good heavy cavalry going on right over here down in Gaza as well. Meanwhile... Aha! Over here. My good man, the Sicilians. This might be our first big battle today. Are they willing to give battle? They are. And they're only a captain. And they've brought peasant archers and peasants. Oh, flipping dear. You know what? I shouldn't sneer at them, however. They have brought some good stuff. They've brought dismounted Norman knights who are pretty darn tanky. And they've got Pavise lads. However, I've got artillery and some really, really, really nice guys over here. So, this will be a fun one, actually. Let's see how we manage to do here. And just a quick check here. How much long-range fire do they have? One set of Muslim archers, three sets of Pavis, the other two are peasants. They've got four long-range lads and also some ballistas. Other than that, their infantry lines have been on the low side. They've only got one unit of cavalry. Okay, I think I can work with this. And we've got ourselves, yeah, pretty big, flat, deserty area, nothing major. But I might be able to hold... Where's the high ground? Some high ground sort of over here, but it's kind of closer to them than to me. So probably best we actually don't try and take advantage of that. Fine. So we've got some lovely lads here whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce, but they can form themselves a, a nice little formation-y kind of spear wall type thing here. A nice armor piercing effective against armory type spear wall. Oh, yeah. These lads. These lads are nice, damn it. Oh, hang on. They're going to pronounce their own name when I click on them. That'll be useful. Heavy infantry. No, those are axemen. Arbutshire. 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 Right, they're the Arbutshire. Gotcha. Thanks, guys. Right, that'll do. Just pretty simple formation here, really. And we've got ourselves those guys over there. Now, are they going to move? Or are they happy where they are? They seem to be broadly happy where they are, which gives me an opportunity to get up to this spot up here. In that case, let's get up to this space up here. You can respond to that potentially just by turning. Uh, okay, hang on. Everyone run if you can. You can't run that effectively. Oh, we got some movement here. Okay, I think they're just sending some archers forward. No, they've given up. They were trying to vaguely pick at me while I was moving. Uh, but no, those guys do want to have a go. Fine, I'll send some cavalry just kind of thundering down the hill at them. Just to basically uh, give them some correction. And actually, because of the uphill advantage... Actually, you guys are... You guys are running weirdly close to me, actually. That's actually kind of weird, but okay. Right, through here, and just through here. Let's just quickly ride off their archers. Uh, at the same time as they just do a little bit of damage. Yeah, they're not moving up anything major. How's the ballista doing? Also, this cannon should be... Oh, the cannon isn't even in position yet. Right, you guys, just fire at will if you can. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Why don't you fire at will too? Ideally, about... Yes, yeah, spot on about here. That'll flip and do. They'll actually go for the tougher guys. Right, so in comes some stuff over here. That doesn't feel like running to me. You planning to do a charge there? There we go. I think we've driven them back down off the hill there. They'll probably break immediately. Those guys are... These guys are hanging on. Oh, no, never mind. I think the charge just actually took root there. Very nice indeed. Okay, so we've pretty much driven their archers back off here. I'm going to get my own king back a little bit over here. You are standing and fighting, but you're already wavering. Just get over here, and then the king, get a side charge in over on this side, please. Uh, ballista's probably firing at... Ooh! Ballista's firing at something. What's the ballista going for? 
I think the Ballista's probably going for my cannon. That's absolutely fine. So those guys are shaken. Amazingly, not broken. Yeah, amazingly, these guys aren't broken. They're actually fighting... Tell you what, for these crossmen, they're decent. They will just stand and fight forever. Uh, okay, so these guys are standing fighting for the time being. You, my leader, need to get out of there because you're literally being shot by the ballista, which I don't like one flipping bit. You are going over here. For these crossbowmen need to be charged. These guys have broken. We've pretty much taken out their long-range fire capabilities at this point. Good. Pull back, and my cannons are firing too. Very nice. Not sure what we're actually hitting right now. Hopefully, we're hitting their infantry. Or oh, actually, I think we're kind of missing it today, but that's fine. These guys are a bit hit for the time being. Right, okay. And you, just come and stand over here. Nice and safe at the back if you'd be so kind. These guys standing and fighting, that's okay. I can heal them up on the way past. Better to just get these guys out of the way. Now, what are you guys actually firing at, by the way? What have you actually got a shot at? Have you got a shot down the... Yeah, you've got a shot down the hill. Nice. So, anything that now comes forward is just being torn apart by my archers. I'm going to say torn apart. <laughs> these guys have got good armor on them, damn it. They're doing some damage. It's not bad. Right. So these guys are a little bit on the screwed side. These guys are wavering and losing strength fast. We're actually quite in range for these. Good, those guys are done. These guys will mop up these lads. That'll do for the time being. And apparently, you're firing. Which is... Oh no, sorry, you're not firing. Oh no, you are firing. Hang on, what are you firing at? What have you got a shot at right now? Let's just go over to... Oh dear. Oh, come on, artillery. Come on, artillery. Somebody is supposed to be firing. Do you want to fire? Yep, there we go. He's remembered to pull the trigger there. For some reason, these guys decided to actually charge point-blank range into artillery and archers. Which is a fascinating idea. Hasn't ended massively well. You plan to fire at some point. Anytime you there we go. He remembered to fire. And that's... Ooh, you killed that guy at the back. Well done. Right, okay. So now at this point, they seem to be vaguely moving up the hill. But anything that tries to move up the hill is just going to be torn apart by my archers. They're just kind of charging. Are they charging properly at this point? Not sure. There's nothing on the... Oh, hang on. There's something over here. I'm just going to send these guys thundering into the side over here. Just to basically chase them off. Because I can't imagine they want any of this. So now at this point we've got ourselves, yeah, archers and artillery. Just firing down the hill. There's the automatic fire. Automatic flipping machine guns. Firing over in this direction. That's just flipping beautiful. It's moments like this I wish spells existed at this point of uh, Total War history. Because that would just be beautiful. Right, those guys have slammed in over here. Which will hopefully kind of take off some of the charge over there. They seem to now be pretty keen to actually come up and deal with all of this. That's absolutely fine. These guys are all on skirmish mode. Probably time to bring the artillery back at this point. So you guys just basically pull back. These guys can just head over here. They're already wavering. So let's get them broken. Because after they break, we can immediately kind of move on to something more interesting. They're shaken through here. There we go. So that's a good starting point right over there. And then this line can basically just stand here and guard forever. Uh, that's armoured sergeants. Now we just basically pull back and get ready to slam everything inside. There's dismounted Normans. You get round over here. And then just something's chasing me over here. That's armoured sergeants. They're doing a clever job. We'll just kind of basically lead them on a merry flipping dance. Shoot them at point blank range if you'd be so kind. You two just shoot them in the side. And now in come my knights hitting these guys. Uh, they've just lost a lot of strength and they're down to wavering already. Those dismounted. They've broken. And now we basically just wrap up the line. The line's pretty much screwed at this point. Armoured sergeants over here are shaken. They're being shot from every side. Get my cavalry round over here. There's some peasants down there we'll take care of. Uh, yeah, these guys are basically just firing on anything. They're shaken. Cavalry behind them. Right, the main line is basically given up at this point, as has that line over there. There's some dismounted Norman knights. Now we just basically get over here, slam into these guys. Ooh, point blank cannon. Nice. Right, you can probably stop firing at this point, to be perfectly honest. And at this point... Oh, blimey. You guys are the biggest damn heroes. Peasants are charging when everyone else has already given up. Well done. Well flipping done. I think you might be a bit late, however. You might be a little bit late here. Wavering and... Probably broken. Lovely. Right, in which case, what's actually left here? There's some... Um, fleeing dismounted Normans over there. Fine. Now we basically just run down whatever is actually left here. And at this point, my leader can get himself involved. Actually, you know what? This isn't quite as over as I'm saying just yet. Uh, these guys are, yeah, get back over here. Let my archers do a bit more work. My archers are still nearby. They can still do good work. Speaking of which, you guys, uh, get back over here. Skirmish mode off at this point. You can stand and fight if need be. 
Uh, my cavalry can just pick off those on the outside. Some stuff is still just about hanging on, but it's mainly... Yeah, it's the poor quality stuff, so it'll break. It'll break momentarily. That's absolutely fine. Uh, so these guys are, yeah, they'll waver and break purely on grounds of being massively outnumbered, so that's fine. You're heading over there. More flipping cavalry at the back here. Lovely. This job is pretty much done here. There are technically still some Norman Knights on the field, so if you guys could just... Oh, I turned the wrong thing on and off for you. Right, if you guys could just basically shoot these bastards down, that'd be great. At this point, they're already, uh, yeah, 20 and a little bit on the nervous side. And I think we just accidentally killed their leader there. That's flipping better. That'll be the end of them. And that'll probably be the end of the battle too. There's some... Oh, the Ballista have come right up. And I think we just actually hit them with a cannon or something beautiful. Right. Job done. Send in the cavalry. Let's wrap up as many of the actual Norman knights as we can. Uh, ignore the peasants. They're not really a problem. There's dismounted Normans times 34. There's Ballista. Make sure those guys go down. And you just basically chase off. Actually, apparently there's a lot of peasants in this army. Chase off some of them if you've got the opportunity to. Why the flip not, eh? And my archers can just finish off as many of those there Norman knights as possible. I think you've still got a shot, don't you? Yeah. Anytime you're flipping ready. Oh, you guys are the peasant archers. Probably shouldn't expect too much out of you, to be honest. You're not exactly good. And as the last few stragglers go down to my cavalry. Oh, hang on. There's still two ballista over there. Wrap up those guys. We should be pretty much done here. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah. Good little fight there. Got some good early hits. Taken out their actual uh, long range fire. And after that point, uh, yeah, I think we held the hill very nicely. Job done pretty efficiently, I'd say. So yeah, 175 men lost to pretty much their entire army. That should now cease to exist, I would imagine. Can't imagine we'll be seeing them again. And obviously we're executing all of the prisoners. Uh, yeah, the entire army goes down at this point. Now, while we're this part of the world, may as well clear out these rebels that have been there for bloody ever. Not these ones, though. <laughs> They can just live there. Basically, at this point, we're just happy to share that territory down in Dongola with these guys. No need to worry about them any further. <laughs> it's 100% fine. Maybe we'll just get some more kind of, you know, crops going on down there. It'll be fine. Uh, but this force over here, yeah, that's the badly damaged ones. We can do without them being dead. But I will send a spy further in this direction just to keep an eye on the roads for the time being. Just to make sure nothing else comes in. But yeah, at this point, I think this army needs just a little bit of quick refreshing, which should be very, very quick and easy to do. Just a bit of basic re-merging should basically get these guys as good as back to full strength. And once we're done with all of that, yeah, just swing by guards for a tiny bit of retraining. But for the most part, we are in excellent shape to carry straight on. Because we might well need this strength in the north. Because I don't know what the bloody hell's going on in the north. By the way, you get in there. <laughs> get in there if you can. Just, you know, get flipping assassins trained here. Potentially we can start picking off some of their leaders. Do I want to, by the way, attack these guys? Because these forces here, actually... Ooh, I might be able to take out those two guys with this force. But then I'd be sacrificing my position on the bridge, which I can't afford to do because basically if that force gets attacked in the open field, then yeah, we need to basically keep this through them. Actually, ooh. Okay. Or we could have the Revenge of Adana right here. Admittedly, Adana doesn't even have flipping paved roads, unfortunately, and it can't for some time. Not for, you know, till 4,500 and I can't boost the growth rate anymore. This is just a... Uh, a low-growing settlement, tragically. Fine. Just get some basic stuff going on over there. Actually, don't bother with that. We'll probably need to train more troops instead. I could take the army of Adana and its ridiculously large number of archers and basically just use them to push back over here because reinforcement armies don't move. Okay, what have you we got here? That is, no uh, yeah, badly damaged. Yeah, basically right nothing left. That is basically a half stack, but with plenty damage and a tiny bit of artillery. Okay, I've got a plan. <laughs> this is a stupid plan. It's a stupid plan, but a stupid plan is still sometimes a good plan. We're gonna go and attack these guys. <laughs> Why not, eh? They wouldn't need to do... Oh, no, they're backing off. They're backing the flip off. Hang on, what's this guy? Ooh, this guy's a bit damaged too. Okay, if they're willing to do it, I'm willing to give it a go. Oh, flipping heck. Right, they're willing to give this a go. Okay, what are we looking at here? So, my main force is basically nothing but a ridiculously large number of archers. Okay, my ridiculously large number of archers is taking on 
basically other archers, but Mongol heavy archers don't have long range. So we can basically out archer them, that's fine. If I can just use my one unit of scouts to get on the back of their artillery, that'd be perfect. However, coming in for the reinforcements, we've got Order, who's got basically nothing left on him whatsoever. That's basically not to be worried about. And then, the more worrying force, we have got Kanzada coming in. Now, he's got himself, again, he's badly not... Ooh, this is interesting. And the force on the bridge, basically, I need to avoid that taking too many knocks, because that force on the bridge might be about to actually have to do a proper battle if they come back and attack the bridge momentarily. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, wait, hang on. Ooh. Hmm. I might have made a mistake here, because... If I actually get stuck in a forward position, then potentially the bridge reinforcements will get pulled forward into a proper battle in a minute. Okay, I need to make this work, damn it. In particular, what needs to happen is that reinforcement army needs to not be badly damaged. Because if the reinforcement army is badly damaged, then yeah, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. I basically just need this main army to run forward and do as much damage as it can as quickly as flipping possible. And unfortunately, it looks like they've just got the high ground. Reinforcement army is going to be coming from back over here, I think, won't it? Yeah, it should be coming from this direction. No, hang on, no, this direction. It's coming from over here. The reinforcement army will be coming from down here because they will be coming from the southwest. That's fine. We just need to... I kind of don't need to try and shield them. Where are the enemy likely going to draw up? I mean, the highest ground's probably over there. Probably we should be over here. And basically, we just need to... <laughs> this is a ridiculous army. We basically need a front line of these archers, okay? That's the front line right there. And draw them up. Don't draw them up too deep because, yeah, some people are flagging to me in the comments. Uh, archers can only fire when the guy at the very rear has a shot. So if you draw them up deep, then as a result, you actually hinder their range quite significantly. Behind those guys, however, I need my Armenian archers drawn up nice and thin behind. And they're going to be the guys that shoot over the top because they've got the actual long range on them, damn it. Those guys can be... Actually, screw it. No one gets skirmish mode today. Today, we're just going to stand and fight and probably die. And that's just how it goes. Uh, and then we've got these guys <laughs> stretching out to desperately try and form an actual flipping line behind you. And then the scouts, who have got to not die because they're acting as the captain... But they've also potentially got to go and assassinate, uh, yeah, an actual bit of artillery if they can. Oh dear. Right, let's just move forward a little bit further here. We need to be as close to them as possible when we begin here. Right, begin and... Okay, so... Oh dear. Right, have we also got... Uh, no, that's reinforcements. Fine. So Captain Leofric is coming from the bridge. So there are his forces. Luckily, it's going to take him a while to get into the battlefield. And he is bringing artillery. But I'm kind of hoping he doesn't actually use it or get it caught out there. Uh, the reinforcements for those guys are coming in over here. Those are the bigger reinforcements. And that over there is the more insignificant reinforcements. And then here's this actual force over here. It's already pretty bloody spread out. Fine. So we basically just need to charge forward as quickly as we can and just get in missile range. And it's just missile versus missile. And that's all we flipping got here. That's the entire story. So, unfortunately, they've kind of drawn up pretty far back from us. So, we just basically need to, yeah, we need to just charge forward. As quick as you're flipping like, everyone just charge forward. With the exception of the cavalry, I don't want them getting ahead. They can't get themselves hit. I'll get them to catch up later. That's absolutely fine. Uh, also, you guys, um, out of, yeah, your thing and start running. We'll put you back into formation later. So, you just basically keep running here. Right. Now, the question is, are any of them going to try and take on the reinforcement army? <laughs> Oh, this is a big complex battle. Right, those guys are now running forward. Looks like I might be able to get up onto this high ground over here, which is fine. Where are we going right now? You're going over there right now. That's fine. Just keep pushing forward as quick as you flipping can over here. And once again, run with the exception of the cavalry. So everyone just basically get over there and then there's... Oh dear. I forgot to set that force to... Actually, no, that's fine. That's actually fine. I forgot to set that force to AI, but if it's not AI, then as a result, it won't enter the battlefield until the space for it. Okay, good. This accidentally works for me. This accidentally works because now I can basically use this entire army up first. 
So that's absolutely AO flipping K. Have you guys got a shot over there yet? No, you don't have a shot over there. You guys basically just need to keep pushing forward as fast as you can, please. As fast as you flipping can. Just get over there and just start shooting anything that flipping moves. All right, just over there, run with the exception of horse. Right, lovely. Reinforcement army number one is already kind of pretty much joined up with the main force. Reinforcement army number two is going to take a bit more time. Kind of, I want to start firing and taking out one force before all the reinforcements bind together. Because once they're all in play, this is going to be a lot more difficult for me. So I just need to basically get over... Okay, I just need to get over here, pretty much. Bloody hell, just hold still. Stop running away. Oh, gosh darn it. They're falling back, and that's going to cause me trouble. Uh, but once again, how far behind has the cavalry got? It's a little bit far behind at the minute, but it's fine. Those guys are horse archers. We'll get a shot at them sooner or later. But yeah, they just keep falling back, and I just need to keep charging forward. Luckily, because they're trying to fall back repeatedly, the trebuchets aren't actually getting shots in. So I'm not under much fire, aside from just a little bit of a, a passive few hits from some actual horse archers. But that's fine. The horse archers aren't going to be able to do that much. I just basically need to keep pushing forward. Actually, I could just stop here and take out these horse archers quickly. Yeah, let's just very quickly nail these horse archers because we can get most of these guys out of the way immediately. Have you got a shot over there? You do not have a shot over there. You have a shot at these guys. The trebuchets are actually firing at this point, but they're not actually doing a good job hitting anything. So just take out these guys. Actually, they're exposed. I'm going to send forward the... Oh, this is a terrible idea. My scout's going to run straight to missile fire. Screw it. Just send the scouts forward. Send the scouts forward. We just need to get this done at this point. So these guys should hopefully go down very quickly indeed. There should be... There should be more flipping arrow fire coming on you, to be honest. But there's a little bit. Right, they're starting to go down pretty quickly. They're still eager for the time being. We need to basically get this round here. And we need to get this trebuchet fleeing before it causes much in the way of trouble. Once the artillery's down, our life is much, much flipping easier. And down we go over here, please. These guys are going to start being shot immediately. Just, there's actually very few of them left. So this is actually going to work pretty nicely. They're sending their cavalry forward. These guys are going to... Come on, come on, come on. Fight before the Light Lancers get there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, back off, back off, back off. That's too dicey. That's too flipping dicey. What else is coming in here? Those are Mongol horse archers. More of them. Back off behind the safety of this line. Now, at this point, my own archers can start firing. And there should be a lot of fire coming in. Get back to safety before you lose your flipping captain. Okay, so there should be... Oh, yeah. There we go. Those horse archers are losing strength very, very quickly indeed. I've got basically no cavalry at this point. So here's army number one. That force down there is looking like it's in trouble. This force is backing off, which works for me, because that means we get to shoot them in the back a little bit, as is... Oh, blimey. Right. I think the fireworks launcher just basically, uh, yeah, officially did actually just set their own... Uh, oh, blimey. They're doing way more damage to their own troops. They are doing way more damage to their own troops than me. They just set their own flipping uh, trebuchets on fire. So those trebuchets have been completely annihilated. Mongol infantry walking forward straight into fire over here. Right, now I just need to take out that firework launcher. Over here, the middle force is conveniently taking its sweet time drawing up into position. So they are not getting involved right now. <laughs> very, very nice indeed. So my archers are doing a competent tough job. Send the scouts down over here, just to basically chase off these guys, and then probably chase the Mongol infantry off the field. Then we've got more Mongol foot archers coming in over here. My guys will hopefully pick their targets fairly intelligently. We've not taken more than a few light knocks right now, and the reinforcement armies seem to be moving. Okay, they're moving into position now, but no, they're not. Or if they are, it's very, very slowly. Good. That means if we can just clear out this force, and then get out there. Oh, blimey! Oh, blimey! This flipping... You know what? I'm going to leave this thing be... They're just firing, they're firing the rockets directly into their own cavalry. <laughs> okay, I need, just need to leave this thing alone because they are officially just knackering their own army. They're just firing rockets up their own horses' asses, and it's a thing of beauty. Right, this Mongol infantry has lost half its strength. There's some more over there. These guys have been totally chased off. Let's get over here. Are you backing off? I don't think they're backing off. They are... They're not sure what they want to do. Okay. Now, with nothing in the way of the rocket launcher at this point, I should probably send my scouts just to try and break them. Mongol infantry at 35. Okay. Time for this force to push forward, with the exception of the horse, if at all possible. So everyone just basically pull forward like crazy, with the exception of the scouts. 
get them back over here. A uh, good, solid scout charge, even though you've not got much in the way of a charge bonus. You've got a bit of one. It might be enough to basically get rid of... Oh, a rock got in the way. That's kind of annoying. Uh, that's fine. Get out, get out, get out. You did not get a good charge in there at all. You did maybe a tiny bit of damage. And now they're running forward again. Fine. They're running forward to meet me because I'm running forward, so not actually firing at this exact moment in time. Round the back background here, my archer is now going to be in position. Where are the reinforcement armies? They're on the move. They are actually moving at this point, and they might be, they might be moving over towards the flipping bit of artillery over in that corner of the map. I'm not sure. If they do, that's fine. So everyone should now be in position, and we're probably back to firing at this point. Let's get these guys back round here. Yeah, these guys should now be absolutely flipping torn apart. We've got the high ground. We've got a lot more firepower than them. We've still got over half our ammunition. I've got to watch ammunition. Because if I burn like two-thirds of my ammunition here, I'm not going to have enough ammunition to take out this army over here. And this force is... Well, there's not much there. Fine. You guys get over onto that Mongol infantry. Okay, do we have enough firepower coming in over here? I don't know if we do. Uh, we've also got... Ah! Light Lancers and other cavalry coming in. Actually, the Burnt Husk of their own trebuchet will get in the way of any charge they try and do, which is beautiful. That's a better charge over there. That Mongol infantry is completely screwed. Chase these guys off if you flipping can. That guy's down to one and hasn't broken. He's steady with one guy remaining. <laughs> Mongols are ridiculous, but at this point, there should be huge amounts of arrow fire coming in every direction over here. This is just beautiful. These guys are light lancers, but they're being torn apart before they can get anywhere near to me. This is what we wanted to see right here. This will do the job. Right, so my archers are now basically just finishing off this army. Basically, these guys have been out mongols because I've just moved my archer troops up and now we're just tearing them apart and they're just being shredded before they can get close to me and they're breaking before they get anywhere near. So yeah, we have officially out mongoled the mongols, which feels good. Oh, oh, they're shooting their own guys in the back again. Less, oh, there goes. <laughs> yeah, I think they're doing as much damage themselves as to me again. Though now they've managed to create an actual little kind of corridor of crispy cooked Mongols they can shoot through. Fine. Probably time for me to get my scouts around the back and take out that firework launcher. I can probably, with enough arch support over here, just basically get around the back of these guys and take that thing out. That thing needs to be uh, eliminated at that point. Based on the way they're dressed, their armor is going to be extremely low. Fine. This force is basically falling apart at this point. They've got basically nothing left. Some of my archers are down to under half arrows, which is a concern. So I should probably, at this point, just send in my infantry to mop them up. So, in come these guys. Uh, now, time to clear those guys out. Good. you got a decent charge in there. Those guys have fallen from 12 down to 2. Very good. Chase them off the firework launcher. Everything is looking decent here. Right, guys. Probably at this point. Oh, there goes their leader as well. Marvellous. So they're probably going to give up at this point. But to stop everyone firing, I'm now going to move them forward a bit. Everyone just basically moves forward to this position, please. Thank you. While you're moving, my actual... Hang on, Mongol infantry. 21 and wavering. Come on, break, 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 break. Scouts are not well designed to take out Mongol infantry. Good, they've broken. Mop them up. Good, we're mopping up. The actual infantry pretty nicely at this point. Now, we can draw up on the high ground over here. Mongol foot soldiers over there. That's trebuchet without a trebuchet. Those are heavy archers, but with like two. We'll be fine for the time being. Chase down the Mongol foot archers. Just knacker as much flipping infantry as we can. Now, conveniently, it's pretty much... Yeah, that's low-lying, and this is high ground. We can now just slowly move down the high ground and wipe out the reinforcement armies, and the bridge force will never really take a knock. This, this is working actually better than I expected. And even better than that, yeah, actually, this force might even still be an effective fighting force after we're flipping done. Chase off the heavy archers too, if you could be so kind. They are, when it says heavy, how heavy's heavy? Does that mean they're slow enough that we can actually chase them? Because probably not. Right, get back over here. Let's actually get over to, oh, bloody hell, trebuchet guys over there. Don't walk over there. That is a place you do not... Okay, fine. Now they're just basically forcing us to waste ammunition, damn it. Oh, well. I think they've all been shot at this point. I think they're still pretty much bloody shot. Yeah, take them out of the way, please. Get them out of the flipping way. Just keep on moving forward. I don't want to have to waste ammunition on little guys like this. You're fleeing. You're fleeing. That's not a problem. Yeah. The Mongol heavy archers are going to be a little bit on the annoying side because I can definitely not actually track them down. But... Okay, good start. Really good starting point. 
Now time to front up to army number two. But army number two looks like it's falling back to army number three. And they've actually got more rocket launchers. So that's going to be interesting. Though, hopefully, they might be idiots and shoot their own guys in the back, just like the first time. Did this force have any artillery? No, this force has got no artillery. The only artillery left on the field for the Mongols now is one pretty damn damaged unit of rocket launchers. Fine. That, we should be able to clear out with this. I think we're looking in good flipping shape here. Right, everyone, by the way, just, like, run into position and then just basically take these guys out because they're starting to annoy me. Here we go. So, good luck, guys. Good luck with your running away every time I try and get close to you plan because at this point, literally everyone in the world has decided to start shooting you. So, there goes number one, there goes number two, and there goes number three. Thank you very much indeed. So that is army number one, either eliminated or off the field. Time for you guys to just start moving forward here. And no longer any need for me to run. Looks like the two reinforcement forces have decided to actually bind together. Because the smaller reinforcement forces definitely backing off at this point. That's fine. I have no problem with them doing that. So now we just basically need to figure out where the best point in terms of high ground is going to be. And actually, yeah, draw up somewhere around there. Probably it's over here-ish, maybe? Yeah, let's move a little bit more in this direction. Try and take this high ground over here. Unless they decide to move forward to face off against me. In which case, just draw up very quickly and start firing. But I think we should be fine. Also, keep an eye on where the... Oh, hang on. That looks like someone's actually on the run there. So everyone just draw up into a new position. What are you guys doing? There's cavalry out on this flank. All the infantry is over here for the time being. We've got anything we can do over here. That's just, hang on, is that archers or heavy cavalry? That's archers. There's some more archers. There's the rocket launcher. Way off over here. Interesting. Uh, in fact, actually, probably not even a terrible position for this guy to get involved at some point. Why not? I'm just going to put him on flipping fire at will mode just in case anything gets close to him. Fine. They are, actually, I think this is reinforcement army number one. It's now kind of fallen over here. Which is kind of interesting, because reinforcement army number two is just drawn up defensively on this side. And they're allowed to, because they're the defensive army. We started this fight. So, okay then. If that's what you want to do, I'm willing to basically move over here and take out this force. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They're willing to actually charge. Okay, well, if they're willing to flipping charge, then I feel like these... Oh, yeah. That missile cavalry is going to be torn to flipping shreds. What else you got, by the way? Not much. Let's get my scouts over on this flank, ready to go up against the rocket launcher. Speaking of which, where is that? It is... Right, we've got these guys over here. Rocket launcher's stuck at the back, obviously, because they've decided to run forward, but the rocket launcher can't really run. And now we can just basically take out these guys. Still no movement from reinforcement army number two, but if they can just make me use up all my ammunition right now... Honestly, they might have actually done a good enough job full stop. Light Lancers charging in, reduced down to basically flipping nothing. So they can fight, Norse Archers can fight. Hit these guys in the flank. They are actually charging me with... Ooh, okay, you managed to make some Norse Archers break. Lardy flipping Dar with only eight horses. That's just embarrassing for us. Who's this, by the way? This is a bodyguard. Okay, you on a bodyguard right there. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Uh, you guys, shield wall up and just start moving forward at that point. And you guys, get forward into that bodyguard, please. Just start hitting them with everything that we've got in terms of actual proper, actual, you know, infantry and whatever. Uh, my archers on this flank can just basically deal with all of this. This six Mongol heavy archers, my 31 scout should be able to handle that. You've regrouped. So just basically take out that guy, please. Uh, yeah, the bodyguard at the front has come in, but we should be able to chop him down pretty easily. He'll find that Norse archers are not soft targets. My guys charge forward in terms of the actual, yeah, the actual infantry. That's fine. You guys just basically... Oh, hello. The rocket launcher's coming in then. Right, need to get... Uh-oh. We've lost the scout leader. Uh, that could be a problem. Oh, we've killed one of theirs, though. Who was that? Was that actually one of the named guys? I think it was. Noble death for Captain Jasper. And now or Order is also dead. Right, get out of there because... Oh, you've broken. Oh, dear. I think, actually, we just killed the very last one there. You broke against literally one horse. There are 23 of you. 
20 bloody three. Hopefully, he'll regroup. These guys are shaken. Yeah, the ones at the front line are shaken just because of uh, the amount they've had to do. I'm really hoping we gain this guy back at some point, because now I can just send him into the back of the rocket launcher. We can clear those guys out. Um, come on, come on, come on. These guys have managed to regroup as well. They've lost half. The I imagine they've lost more than that. Or at least they've lost... Ooh, hang on. You guys are now drawn up into a marching column. That's interesting. Uh, you guys probably need to fall back to your defensive position at the back, please. And uh, the scouts do not seem to be regrouping, which is a concern. Rocket launcher, I don't have an answer to right now. I've got no cavalry. Come on. Come on, regroup. Just flipping regroup. It's fine. We've got this under control, partially, though. Without a leader, this could be a problem. Okay. These Mongol infantry need to be taken out. Uh, everyone just... Yeah, just everyone who can... Take your shot at those lads, please. I want the actual Mongol infantry to be our main target for the time being. The Armenians are almost out of ammunition, which is a concern because they're the only long range we've got. In come the rocket launchers again. Screw it. I'm just sending these guys forward. Uh, you guys, just get over there. Skirmish mode off. Just get in the back of the rocket launcher before it can actually fire again. These guys are going to be shot to ribbons pretty quickly. Norse archers one-on-one -on -one in actual melee against Mongols will lose, but that's fine. Probably at this point we're safe to start fronting up against this force. Yeah, this force is starting to charge forwards, uh, but they've got the range on us. What are you doing? Okay, you need to get over here, please. Get the flip over here. Uh, and we've got to... Oh, in comes another round of the flipping rockets, irritatingly. Luckily, it looks like most of that's missing. I think he's aiming at that flank, so the accuracy is a bit on the low side. You guys round here. Did you immediately break? Oh, dear. Exhaustion's kicking in here. Right, we need to start ignoring those guys. They don't matter so much anymore. We need to start moving over in this direction, ready to take on those guys. As for these guys, I'm just going to send some dismounted Huskars charging over there. But my main archers need to basically front up to this army, because at this point, I'm kind of worried that this cavalry might be able to trigger a mass rout in my troops, which could be a big flipping concern. I think you're out of, yeah, you're out of rockets because you've abandoned the rocket launcher. So these guys can basically just go over here and clear out these lands. They'll probably run. Sadly, our cavalry is not coming back. So right now we've got no cav support whatsoever. These guys are eager, apparently. Are you willing to actually stand and fight while my guy's charging over here? And the answer is... You don't want to, but I might just be lucky enough to... Not quite, unfortunately. Darn it. These guys have got a break, though. Surely these guys have got a break. Uh, you, Norse archers, just... Get over there and screw those guys up, please. Uh, screw it. We'll just chase these guys off the field. Uh, oh, I think they're going to stand and fight. I think we've got one of them. We got a hit in there. We've killed a couple of them. They're shaken, but sadly they haven't turned to fight. They haven't been drawn into the melee yet. How are we doing over here, by the way? Um, okay. We're all right. I imagine that is the... Yeah, the scouts have gone. So we got no cavalry support. Another unit broke over there. More units are breaking over... How are you breaking? How are you breaking at seven rocket launcher troops? How is that a thing? There's flipping infantry support right there. Can somebody just kill these guys, please? Just just kill these guys. Just kill them. You had flipping, like, all of your strength. Bloody hell. Just... What's going on here? Just... Somebody kill these bastards. Just get on top of them. Seven rocket launcher troops just ran into the middle of my line and just caused a large part of my actual troops to break. That is ridiculous. But all right, fine, whatever. Luckily, they've recovered, though they actually had no ammunition, so it barely matters. Right, guys. Guys, 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 guys. I need you to basically just be pushing forward here. Um, I want to say that. There's, there's Mongol Foot Archers 120. You guys, get up on this high ground if at all possible. Run. You're all exhausted. This is the problem we've got right now. Everyone's exhausted. Uh, ah, that unit's broken at least. You guys, get back over here. We need to get the high ground and we need to take out this cavalry with what's left of our archer support. Where are the other archers that are not currently part of the formation? You guys. You guys, what else have we got here? There's apparently a space right here. You guys go and fill that, please. Get in there. Uh, some of the Armenians have a flipping shot at something. I don't want you wasting your ammo over there, to be honest. I'd rather you kind of get over here, if at all possible. Fine, okay. Let's redraw up the line, pull everything back together again here. We'll be alright. What have you got a shot at? It better not be anything stupid and unimportant. It better not be that. Do not waste ammo over there, please. Actually, because the scouts have broken, a second artillery's entered the field. 
I've got a stupid idea. I'm going to use those, and also, while they're trundling over here nice and slowly, I'm just going to speed things up to give my troops a bit of a breather. Because at this point, we can hold this line against anything that moves forward. We'll be 100% fine. So I'm just going to basically bring the artillery forward, because screw it, why not? I think it's got greater range than my Norse archers. Mongols repositioning right now, bringing... Yeah, bringing the bodyguard up front and archers to the rear. A weird inverted shape, okay. Oh, something's coming forward, actually. Something wants to go. It's charging forward and it's, yep, it's just basic Mongol foot. We'll be able to tear them apart, no problem whatsoever. We've got last few shots off the Armenians. We've got the high ground. In comes more supporting fire. The first unit's been completely torn the hell apart. Second unit's going to go down pretty quickly as well. They're standing right on top of each other. Maximizes the amount of fire we can lay on that position. Lovely. Right. So they're pretty screwed over there. But the Mongol infantry is also moving up. Question is, does the Mongol infantry have a shot at me from there? I don't think they do. No, they're too far back right now. Fine. Then it's just a question of cavalry. That artillery I'm bringing up that's almost in position right now, that'll do a good job tearing through cavalry. Doesn't matter how heavily armoured they are, flipping artillery will just kill anything in one shot. So, we've kind of used up the last of our Armenian fire pretty much just wiping out these guys, but they have been pretty thoroughly destroyed over there. That works for me. So that just leaves, yeah, three units of Mongol foot and a hell of a lot of cavalry. That's not even so bad. How much of the cav is missile? That's bodyguard. That is heavy lancers. And that is... Okay, there's some missile at the back, but not so much. You also missile? Yeah, missile and missile. Fine. So two units of heavy archer at the rear. I think we can handle this. To be perfectly honest, I think we got this. Okay, right. Sort that out. You two both on your fire at will, please. Now... Break up the existing formation. This is now our new formation right over here. This is what we got, okay? So now we just basically move everything forward into a position to take out the Mongols. Okay, the actual Mongol infantry. Those guys are actually falling back, by the way. Right, forward just one more step. And now the Mongol infantry is not sure if it wants to actually engage or not. Put you guys into run mode. Yeah, the cavalry wants to come forward. The cavalry is charging, but is it the... It's heavy archers, so it probably doesn't actually want to engage. This is a really stupid position for those guys, because now the actual artillery has a shot at their cavalry, albeit, ooh, we might be slightly not in the right position here. We're going to have to see if the actual artillery has a shot. It has a shot at some of them, but there's so much counterfire coming over here, and the artillery is going to come in and spook them too. So that's heavy archers. Let's see if my artillery can actually hit anything, because the hill's kind of in the way of most of them. So we might not be able to do that much here, unfortunately. Artillery is not quite ready to fire. It does have a slow reload speed. Ah, but there's more coming in over here. These guys, you've got a good shot at these lads. Beautiful. In comes more flipping fire. The Norse archers have just, just enough archers to make this work at the time being. Come on, artillery. Come on, artillery. Make this work. Make this work for me. You're almost flipping ready. <laughs> And uh, what have we got over here? We've got... Ah, there's the bodyguard. That's absolutely fine. Send the infantry in against the bodyguard. That's fine. And more as well. Fine. Those guys have... Oh, flip. Oh, flipping heck. No. No, no. How is this happening? No, that's not fair. How is there being a mass rout? Oh, flipping heck. Victory will be ours. Narrator just said, oh, victory will surely be ours. As my entire army gives up in a mass rout. We've still got one flank. We've got one flipping flank over there. It's not much, but it's something. These guys are holding on because they're... No, they're wavering. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. What have we got? You guys just take out these guys. Are any of you going to recover? How have we lost this? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, dear. I don't know how we lost this, but it turns out we've managed to lose this because everyone's flipping... Oh, they're kind of recovering. <laughs> Without our leader, and with their flipping high level of dread, everyone is just falling the flip apart. But screw it, everyone just, everyone that's got anything left, just get in there. We need to just basically hold them here with our infantry. We need to hold them here with our infantry, because our archers are regrouping, and then they're going to be able to take out the rest of it. The artillery needs to focus under absolutely all circumstances on the bodyguard. The bodyguard must be taken down. Oh, it's all falling apart. It's... 
all flipping falling apart. That is pursuing missile cavalry. Flipping dismounted house girls can chop that stuff down. If we can just take out this front line, then possibly the artillery alone can win this final battle at the back. But we need to... Why are you guys not doing anything? Seriously? I said... Okay, you're firing at something. They are firing, but I think they're just firing into the ground. I'm not sure they're actually hitting anything. Oh, dear. This is no good at all. Oh, flipping heck. What's, what's even left? We're going to lose this because there's going to be nothing left on the field that hasn't broken. Well, actually, hang on. No, we've got a reinforcement army that can come in. I just need to hold on long enough that when these units do flee off the battlefield, the reinforcements will just be coming in instead. Because <laughs> we've got this force down here, or at least one unit of it. Screw it. Just basically stand here and fire. Fire at these guys. Just, just do that, all right? What a bloody hell have we got? Because the archers are recovering and firing. And they're chasing off all of this. This is technically, we're not, it's not done yet. Just anything, anything we've got left, anyone with any ammunition, just focus it on their flipping general. All right, 44 strength. Armenian archers are flipping charging right now. No one's got any flipping ammo left. That's the flipping problem. Oh dear. Right, you get over there and clear out these lads. These lads now have technically apparently they've got there's, there's eight heavy lancers here. I'd like you to fire at them at point blank range, please. Like and with some support from over here, please. Just get these guys. What even are you? You're 41 eager feudal knights. All right, you should be able to take out just these guys. There we go. There's one dead or flipping ready. One of you, focus over here. All right, there we are. The bodyguard's falling back. My troops are... What's even left? Very little. Very flipping little is left. But those guys are down to one thing. There's actually, aside from the bodyguard, there's almost no flipping cav left on the field. Just, I want you to fire over here. Please, just fire over... That was not what you were supposed to fire on. Oh no, we've lost the flipping artillery. And this artillery is technically part of the bridge force. This means the bridge force is going to have less flipping artillery of its own. Right, what's left? There's Mongol infantry. These guys all need to flee off the battlefield so a brand new better army can come in. What the bloody... You're still technically here! Right, um, fire. Just fire at whatever you've got, okay? Just... Oh, you don't have a shot. The bloody topography is in the way. Um... Back over here, because right now, sadly, you don't have a flipping shot. Oh, balling hell. My lord, only okay. half of our force Yeah, remains. I know only half our forces remain. And they're refusing to stand and fight, even though they should be able to stand and fight. They're just breaking constantly. And I need them to get the bloody hell off the battlefield so the next force can come in. Right, where's that one artillery that technically hasn't broken yet? <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Right, okay, so... These guys now want to go over, like, way over here. Because technically, this army will enter the battlefield as my old army leaves it. And this is a nice fresh force that can win. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's what happens if you bring a force with literally no general against a massively dreadful enemy force. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Right, have we got a shot at anything? Screw it. Take your shot at the bodyguard, all right? Just, oh, there's only one left. The other one's on fire. Right. Take your shot at the bodyguard, please. Come on. Oh, you're going to be way too slow. You're way too slow. That's a shame. It would have been amazing if they could have just, like, you know, nailed the bodyguard with one shot. But now they're all under... Yeah, and they're all fleeing. But they have taken out one of their own lads, too. <laughs> if we're lucky, maybe, actually, they'll shoot at their own general at this point, And that would be beautiful. But the artillery is, yeah, falling apart. Go on, shoot at these fleeing guys with those guys. What's even left on the field? There's so little left. We're so close to flipping winning. And why, by the way, are the reinforcements not entering the battlefield? Because they kind of actually should. They, they should have entered the battlefield by now. Why haven't you? Um, okay, now I'm just confused. Right, there's also just some light lancers over there. Ah, uh, how did we come to lose this? Well, I know exactly how we came to lose this. This guy has extremely high dread, and we've got no general whatsoever. Uh, but unfortunately, the reinforcements aren't coming in. Which is causing problems. Uh, so, we've got, yeah, multiple full-strength Mongol infantry. The problem is, if the reinforcements don't enter the battlefield at this point, then what's going to happen is... You've managed to escape. Well done. Yeah, if they don't enter the battlefield, then this force is totally going to be a single unit of dismounted Huskarls. So, um, guys, 
Whenever you're flipping ready, please. I mean, everyone's fleeing. There's only one unit left on the battlefield. So, you guys should actually be entering. Okay, something's trying to enter the battlefield. Where, wait, where the bloody... Where's that? Wait, hang on. Where are you? Where's that cannon? Ah, they're bringing forward cat. Oh, the cannon just came forward. Right, okay. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> right, uh, cannon, just fire at literally anything you've got a shot at. Uh, you guys, also... Oh, they're bringing all... The okay, finally. Finally, everything's coming into the, the battlefield over here. Right, you guys, over to flipping here, please. Right, and then, yeah, explosions. Fire at will. Right, these guys, you just stand and fight. Okay, we've actually got a chance. We've got a chance because, albeit very slowly, these guys are bothering to show up. Right, now bring up you guys. Fire at will. You guys, also fire at will. Fire right into there, please. I need you to fire right into that big infantry right there. These guys are a little bit too far forward and I'm concerned by it. You've managed to chase off those guys at least. More Norse archers piling in. You guys, uh, skirmish mode off and then just run into a position over here. They're already under flipping fire. That's no good. Um, I need you guys to... Oh, but there's the flipping there's the flipping general. I need you guys to fall back for the time being. Dismounted Huskars need to basically go forward and just fight the bodyguard. More dismounted Huskars, cover there. We've got enough actual firepower that we can probably just destroy these units. If you can just get a good hit in. If someone would like to get a good explosive shell in, that'd be flipping great right now. In comes more dismounted feudal knights. I just need to basically get the bodyguard taken care of. In come more dismounted Tuscars. You guys have got the armor piercing. All right, you should be able to chop this guy down. How are you guys doing? They're already... He's eager. These guys are also shaken because they don't have a proper leader either and his dread is ludicrously high. But if we can just, just kill this guy, we just need this guy to die. And that's it. We'll be in good shape. And then come on, come on, come on, come on. Down to 30. Down to 30. Shaken. Oh, we've taken him out. Okay, the dread effect is gone. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, at this point, just guys, get over there. Get over there. Get over there, just charge. Just everybody charge. And anyone who's got, like, anything, just get over there. All right, just all of you guys, just, just get over there and fire. And these guys, they're already wavering. They're already flipping wavering. We've still got no cab. They're starting to break apart. Oh, we've won. <laughs> The screen is literally full of units that are routing from my side, but we've done it. We've flipping done it, and the reinforcing bridge army has basically managed to pull it off with minimal losses. So they are still an effective fighting force. The problem is I need to unfortunately pull back all these guys to give my Norse archers a chance to hit all of these guys. And all of you guys need to basically just target over here, please. Uh, you guys just fall back, fall back, fall back. Let the Norse archers have an actual hit over there. That's good. That's good. You guys should have a... Yeah, you guys should have a shot by now. And go. And go. And everybody just go. We've still got no flipping cavalry, which is very irritating. A single big missile. There we go. That was a big explosive shell. In comes more hits. There's artillery. There's a whole bunch of fire coming in. These guys are losing strength very, very fast now. This is more flipping like it. Everyone else... Get on top of them too, please. Just everyone just around and around and around. In comes more explosive fire. These guys need to basically head over here. Mongol infantry. Oh, they just won't. Flipping. Break, though, irritatingly. Bloody hell. Oh, that was just a big hit from a cannon over there. They're being knocked around. They're being knocked around like crazy. I'm trying to get this guy just around the back of them. Then my infantry can actually get in and do something. Oh, that was a big hit right there. That was a big hit right there. Right, okay, now... Basically, just get these guys around the back. Get these guys around the back of them. Yeah, these guys will do the job. And then they'll be sandwiched. And then we'll be in good shape. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you flipping don't. Oh, no, you flipping don't. Trying to back off, are you? Trying to back off. Good luck with that. Over onto these guys, please. Uh, right, they've broken. Right, that's two units breaking right over there. Now, just the third and final. Get behind these guys. No, 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 no. Just get behind these lads over here, please. Get behind these lads. Oh, done. I'm happy. I'm happy to end that immediately. Bloody hell. Right, so, Captain Jasper still has 3,000 men in his army. All right, that's, that's fine. That's a okay. We've lost a lot of stuff there. That was closer than I wanted it to be. Oh, blimey. What's that going to look like when we're done? And obviously, we're executing anything we can there. So, hang on. That force ceases to exist. Okay. That force... Ooh, man of the hour. Yeah, we'll promote you. Why the flip not, eh? This force also... Uh, no, this force backs off. 
but backs off through me up there. Oh my goodness, and you can still move. Oh, that's so good. Right. So, welcome to Eamond Hildentand, who took over after Captain Jasper died. So, well done. Apparently, Sicily hates me. Why does Sicily hate me more? Oh, because I attacked Sicily. That would indeed make sense. Yes. So, we've managed to take out... Well, we've taken out two armies, and one of them is now down to basically nothing. I bet those guys are apparently very experienced. Experienced at losing. The best kind of experience. More Norse archers, please. They do good flipping work, and they're cheap. That's the important thing. Now, this force just took a bit of a battering doing all of that. That's okay. All I can do with them is basically heal up. Those guys. Uh, some of these guys took a bit of a battering too. Yeah, all of that, all of that, all of that. Now, you two guys. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Not much, to be honest. You two guys, get into Antioch. All right. Um, Eamond Hildentand, good news. You now get a brand new army. A good army too. What's this army need? It needs... Actually, it blatantly needs more archers. Uh, so, I am going to give you some better quality archers. In fact, I'm actually going to give you the Armenians, because the Armenians are good. Uh, they're long range. So, you've got plenty of cannons, plenty of artillery. A bit damaged artillery, but at least you've still got them. That's the important thing. And you've got some heavy infantry and a fair few archers. You could do with more. That's probably enough. Right. The rest of this force needs to hide over here, close by to... Oh, I should have put them in this square so they could actually come in as reinforcements. That's fine. There's enough there for the time being. Adana is flimsy. Aleppo is vulnerable, but Aleppo is a castle with cannon towers. All right. King Thorgil's the lawgiver. He is ready for it. I'm just not sure where the bloody hell they're going at this point. And what's even left? Right now they've got... Yeah, badly damaged, badly damaged. They're down to... They're down to five full stacks and one near full stack, but has taken a few knocks. Okay, and then it's just three really scrappy ones. We're starting to wear them down. All right, the war is, I wouldn't say it's in our favor just yet, but it's moving in that flipping direction. All right, everything's okay. Everything's fine. If the Egyptians would like to help us out, actually, if they want to go and deal with Damascus, that'd be marvelous. Go and attack Damascus. Go for it. Why not? We can probably actually bring some troops from Kaisaria down. That's probably safer at this point. Let's just bring some reinforcements from Kaisaria down to Adana just to make sure Adana is a little bit on the safe side. Can you make it to... No, they couldn't make it to Adana even if they wanted to. So I can bring more reinforcements from Kaisaria down to Adana if I need to. And Kaisaria is not falling to anything. Kaisaria is... Yeah, that's a citadel with cannon towers. All right. Uh, just a handful of units can basically stand up to anything the Turks might want to throw at that. We've got small force coming in here, but we've actually got troops being trained over here. We've got a decent sized force here, our bit. Are we repairing that? We should probably... We can't afford to repair that. Let's repair the wall. That strikes me as the priority. Making sure the wall works, that's a good priority. Right. As we want to wait to see what the Venetians do next, and in Spain, we're still just basically retraining troops as fast as we can. That's probably all we can do for now. But I will send this spy in this direction to go and figure out what's going on in Lisbon. Because I'd like to knock the Portuguese out once and for all. Just basically take care of them. That would be fine. Also, can I take care of you? Ooh, go on. Clear victory. Nice. Let's just drive off these forces. Ooh. That's... Oh, heroic victory. Nice. Well done. And in fact, there's also... Ooh. Well, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Um, So, apparently, there's just a... Oh, good. The Mongols are still just sending nothing but artillery to islands in the Mediterranean. Except it's not mine. It's not my island, so I'm fine with it. Whatever. So, as a result, yeah, there's just a, a Venetian fortress with not much in it. With rebels nearby, a bigger, more tough force of rebels, and also just randomly a huge pile of Islamic catapults nearby, and nobody knows why. Sardinia is a silly place, let's not even worry about that. Right, time to figure out what the Venetians do next, and more importantly, where the great now Eastern Bumble is actually going. Are they going to attack any of the forces? on the bridges, because if they go for this force on the ford, the force on the ford is arguably the most vulnerable. I'd be concerned about that one. Godfred the Handsome might be heading towards another loss if that were to take place. But screw it. 
Let's find out. Oh yes, and don't forget, I'm also just repositioning some troops around to actually get uh, good managerial guys into managerial cities. We're kind of running out of factions in the world right now. There's not that many of them left. The Venetians are... You actually coming out? There's another assassin. There's yet more flipping assassins. Are you planning to join up to this guy and then maybe come down over here? Doesn't look like it, but we'll see. We'll see if you're interested in that. Sicilian's backing off. Good. Hopefully that's the last of them we'll see for a while. And yeah, okay, don't forget, there's another big force of Sicilians coming for Naples. We need to get a new force heading south to take care of that. There's my bros, the Byzantines, my best friends, best buddies. Definitely allies and not going to betray me now I've given them like 40,000 gold or whatever it was. Oh, massive force of Moors heading north into Spain there. Possibly heading towards my territory. That's fine. I've got really good troops in that part of the world. That won't be a problem. Turks bumbling around, just reinforcing Mosul. I don't flipping blame you. The bumble is heading east right now. So you're also heading just south into here. You don't want to do that. No, I don't think they did do that. I think they're just standing nearby. Fine, I might clear that guy out. That was, I believe, the factioner. The Portuguese are just still hanging around there. Yeah, that's a big force of Moors. Around there. Papal states want to have a chat. Not sure what they really want, but I'm sure it's nothing important. If they want a new alliance, I'd love to become friends with the Pope again. I mean, me and the Pope get on for the most part these days, mainly because he's been given a very clear lesson in what happens if Denmark and the Pope don't get on. And the Mongols are. Ah! The bumbling is back westwards. Fine, but oh, are you about to do a big. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are they going to do an attack on the bridge with one main army and two reinforcing forces? No, doesn't look like it. They're just kind of vaguely passing nearby. Fine. Whatever it was they thought they saw to the east, I think they've given... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Right. What does that mean? What does that flipping mean? Right, so... Oh, dear. It's Eamond Hildentand. So, our new lad, and he's not got the best army. It's okay, but it's not our best. Especially, this artillery is a bit on the vulnerable side. That force is nothing. That force, we can take care of. That's fine. The problem is, he's got friends coming in. Two full stack of, in fact, actually identical armies, I'm going to guess. So, yeah, untouched. Untouched forces, and... Driven by rage is actually okay. That's minus two morale for troops on the battlefield. That's good. For us. Hmm. So, on the plus side, actually, no artillery. Okay, long range infantry, no artillery. Meanwhile, the other guy, I'm going to guess, is identical because the number of men is identical. Yeah, by happy coincidence, the two forces that have actually showed up here at this bridge are the forces that don't have artillery. By any chance, do you also have, like, you know, uncontrollable rage or something? No, tragically not. He's got himself sadly ignorant, but that does not impact the morale of his troops at all. So, yeah, shame. Okay, so basically this force down here needs to stand up against two full stacks of Mongols. If we can win this, we'll have done a really good job actually starting to break their power. Because then they'll be down to only three full stack armies. Three full stack armies is not that terrifying. I can field three full stack armies. Then we might be getting close to mop up operations, but I don't disagree with the game. The balance of power is in their favour. I think we'll be able to cripple them, but I don't think we'll actually be able to win. We'd be in a much better place if I'd actually taken this force and actually let it be one square further north, just left it there, because then it would be reinforcements and that would be additional firepower to bring up to the bridge as the battle went on. That'd be beautiful. Pretty much, it's just going to come down to whether I get lucky with artillery strikes. If I can just get the right artillery strikes into the right position, we might be able to trigger a mass route of Mongols. But we've won bridge battles and we've lost bridge battles versus the Mongols. It's going to be a difficult one. And that is coming up next time, ladies and gentlemen, as the great bumbling slaughter continues. And we see whether we can break the back of the Mongols and hopefully move towards actually starting to win this war. We'll have to see about that very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Medieval 2, Total War. Thank you very much and goodbye. Wait, did people just vote out democracy? Hang on, what have you just done? Oh, go on, let's have the greatest Oktoberfest ever. Yay! Spain and Russia announced a new alliance as a result of the warmongering of certain Central European countries. Oh, well, excuse me! My leader from now on, no weakness will stand in the way of this country's path to glory. Oh, God, Germany, not again!